Hello, fine people. This is Jerry Travis Smith, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can record a meeting, whether it's on Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, or whatever, even if you're not the one presenting the meeting. A lot of times, meetings are restricted so that only the presenter can do the recording. Well, lucky for us, there's a piece of software that's been around forever that we can use to record meetings without anybody's permission. So I'm just going to go to Google and type in OBS Studio. OBS Studio. And I'll hit enter. And the very first thing that pops up, obsproject.com. I can hit download right here. And I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the installer. Depending on your internet connection, it may or may not take a while. Going to open it, and it's going to give me a security warning. Yes. Then I'm going to go next, 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 or install. And this all depends on how fast your computer is. Now we'll go ahead and launch OBS Studio. Shows up down here. Okay, and we are not going to be setting this up for streaming. So I'm going to say optimize for recording. Next. And the base canvas, we're going to do 1920 by 1080. If your resolution's lower than this, just pick whatever your resolution actually is. And the 60 FPS, I wouldn't worry about that. Um, I usually go for uh, 30. Because if you're just recording some kind of meeting, it doesn't really matter. So we'll go next. Okay, and then I'll apply settings. And we're not quite done yet. We have to add some sources. So the first thing I'm going to add is uh, right here, I'll do a plus, and we'll do display capture. And you can just leave it called display capture if you don't have a lot of displays. Click OK. And by default, it's going to pick display one. I have multiple displays, but most people only have one monitor. So we'll display one, and you can capture the cursor if you want, or you can turn the cursor off. Uh, it just depends on whatever you want to do. The cursor, I'm talking about the mouse pointer. So I'll click OK. OK, we've got that. OK, so now we've added our display capture. By default, you should have desktop audio already added. It's this one right here. Then you could turn it up and down, but... I would leave it all the way up. And what that's going to do is record whatever comes through your speakers, headphones, or whatever that you're currently hearing. So see, as I click, there you can hear it coming through even on this. The last thing I want to do is make sure that I know where my video is being recorded to and the file format it's using. So I'm going to go to File and Settings. And go right down here to Output, Output. And for the encoder, if you have hardware, go right here to Encoder. And if it has a hardware option, click that because it'll work a lot better. And you can see right here that it's being recorded to my videos folder. And the recording format, I would choose MP4. MP4. Okay, and it gives you this warning that says, you know, if your power goes out or whatever, you're not going to be able to uh, recover um, part of the recording because the MP4 doesn't really allow for lossy frames and that sort of thing. But that's okay. I think I would stick with MP4. It's a little easier to play. And click OK. And when you're ready to record, say you've got your, you know, about ready to start your meeting or whatever, they say, hey, we're getting started. You just click start recording. 
and you know it's recording because you're going to see this little red dot. Okay, and whenever you stop recording, okay, it goes away. In order to find where the video is stored, all you need to do is go to your little start menu, type in video, and you can see it right there, videos. And there it is. And it's basically stored with the date stamp in the form of year, month, day, and time in military. You just double click on it and there it is. Recording. And you know it's recording because you're gonna see this little red. And that is very meta. But I hope this helps and you guys have a great day.